For 2D figures, the frequently calculated metric is area and perimeter. So for this lecture, let's learn how do we calculate the area and perimeter for different shapes. Area. The total space enclosed by the boundary of a plane figure. Like if we have a circle or maybe a triangle, area is the space inside the figure. The shaded part is the area. Now coming to the perimeter, it is the total length of the sides enclosing any plane figure. Like if you have a rectangle or maybe a rhombus, perimeter is the outer length. So if we calculate the sum of all the sides, it gives the perimeter. This shaded part is the perimeter. Now let's look into the type of questions asked from this topic. The first type is problems on triangles. Second one is problems on squares and rectangles. And third is problems on circles. The last one, the fourth one is mixed category questions. Something like they'll give you area of square and a circle or a triangle and a rectangle. One of the figure is inscribed into other figure and so on. Okay, let's start with triangles. First, let's understand the area of a triangle. For this, let me take a diagram of triangle. Here is a triangle where the height of the triangle is h and the length of the base is b. When we know these two parameters, we can find the area as area is half base into height that is half here the base is b and the height is h therefore half bh is the standard formula to calculate the area of a triangle now let's look into a different type of triangles the first type is equilateral triangle this is a triangle with with all the sides to be equal here is a sample diagram where the sides of the triangle are a a a and the internal angles for an equilateral triangle will be 60 degrees now for this triangle let's find the area Let's take the height of the triangle as h and this part will be exactly a by 2. Now in order to find the area we need to know the height. So this is 90 degrees. So using Pythagoras theorem I can write a by 2 square plus h square is equal to a square or h is root 3 by 2 a. Now area is half base into height. So half base here is a. Then height, just now we found out it is root 3 by 2a. So this is root 3 by 4a square. Now how about perimeter? It is the sum of all the sides. So a plus a plus a, that is 3a. Now we have isosceles triangle. Here only two sides are equal. Here is a sample figure with the sides as a and a. These are the two equal sides. And then equal side, let's take it as b. Let the height of the triangle be h and this part will be b by 2. Now again using Pythagoras theorem I can write h is under root of a square minus b by 2 whole square. Or this is 1 by 2 under root 4a square minus b square. Now area is half base into height. So base is b, height is 1 by 2 root of 4a square minus b square. So this is b by 4 root 4a square minus b square. And how about perimeter which is the sum of the sides. So a plus a plus b. That is 2a plus b. Now the third category is scalene triangle. In this all the sides are different. Here is a sample figure where the sides are a, b and c. And here to calculate the area, we will take the formula of Heron's where we will be using the semi perimeter which is a plus b plus c perimeter upon 2, the semi perimeter. Using this value we can write the area. The area is under root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c. Now how about the perimeter? Perimeter is a plus b plus c. Now the final one, right angle triangle. In this one angle is 90 degrees. Here is a sample diagram. One of the angle is 90 degrees. Let's take one side as A, other side as B. And opposite to the 90 degrees is the hypotenuse. 
and using Pythagoras theorem we can write h s under root of a square plus b square. Area is half base into height, so half a b and perimeter is sum of all the sides, so a plus b plus h. Alright, this much of basics is enough, so let us quickly get into the question. The ratio of base to the height of a right angle triangle is 4 is to 5. If the area of the right angle triangle is 80 centimeter square, what is the height of the triangle? For this, let us draw a diagram. They have given the ratio of the sides base to height. Base is A and height is B as 4 is to 5. So, I can safely assume A is 4x and B as 5x. Apart from that, they have given the area as 80 centimeter square. We already know area is half base into height, so half AB. So, when I substitute the values, this is 80 equals half 4x into 5x. By solving, we get x as 2 root 2 centimeters. But that is not the answer. We are asking the height where height is B. So, B is 5x that is 5 times of 2 root 2 and that is 10 root 2 centimeters. I hope you are able to learn the concept of triangles.